So here's a quick video to discuss the dot point, perform an investigation to compare an image of a bone scan with an x-ray image. So this is out of the medical physics section of the New South Wales syllabus. Basically examines the point where you compare an image from a radioactive scan of the bones and a x-ray. Now the important thing to first remind you is that we can use a whole range of radiopharmaceuticals that release gamma radiation to detect function. And so in our case, we're going to particularly look at these particular ones over here. The Samarium 153, in that particular case, it looks at bone metastases, basically means bone cancers. And then there's also Technetium 99, which can also be used as a tracer in terms of a whole bunch of organs, but it includes bone marrow. So Technetium 99 eventually accumulates in bone marrow as well. We use these traces and these accumulate into various parts of the bone. So here is two types of images. So the first type of image here is your classic radiopharmaceutical scan. And it is clearly showing dark areas here and here and here. And then of course also here in these joint sections over here. And what's happening here is there is an accumulation of a radiopharmaceutical in these bones. And it's due to the cause, the fact that the Technetium 99 or the Samarium 153 is accumulating there. And because it is accumulating as it is tagged to certain types of tissues involved with the cancer, because there's an increase of accumulation in those areas, it would be suggestive of some sort of cancer or some sort of tumour. Because although there is some release of gamma radiation from other parts of the bones, there's clearly an increase area in these dark areas. Now, the point here is, it's not so much the details that you're interested in in terms of the accumulation, but comparing that to an x-ray. So the first thing you should notice is that a radiopharmaceutical scan automatically does not have a lot of resolution. It's not used for structural information. It's more about functional information. So the accumulation, the radiopharmaceutical tells you there's something happening there that it shouldn't be. So there's a lack of detail here, but functionally it's very useful. But over here on this side, we have a X-ray and here you have lots of details in terms of the bone structure, but you wouldn't pick up necessarily any tumor or any way because really ultimately the tumor probably is very similar in structure. So you should know that X-ray is really good for detail, high use for uh, structural information, but really poor for functional information. Whereas your bone scan, which relies on the radiopharmaceutical releasing gamma radiation, is really poor in terms of structure, but really useful in terms of function. And so now we've compared the two types of images. Hope that helps. Bye for now.